Scream may be a horror movie by nature, but a large part of it falls into the mystery category also, despite the movies from the past always having a ghost face reveal in the climax of the movies, the mystery behind who is under the mask in certain scenes doesn't stop there. With there being three killers in Scream 6, the possibilities are endless as to who donned the Ghostface costume during the various moments he was on screen. Many people will do their own versions of this, but today I'd like to share mine with you in my Who Killed Who for Scream 6. Some of the moments I'm about to bring up here require some in-depth analysis. Because of this, I went back and watched the movie for this specific purpose, to try and observe characteristics, dialogue, and in some cases, build structure as a way to determine a final answer. Scream 6 is the first item that had three killers. Detective Bailey, Ethan, and Quinn make up a Ghostface trio in the movie, and each of them had their moments on screen. There was technically a fourth Ghostface killer in Tony Revolori's Jason, so without further ado, let's jump straight in. The first kill we see on screen was actually Samara Whedon's Lara, who was lured outside of a restaurant in the opening and was killed down a back alley. This murder was committed by Jason himself. Following this, Jason returns home and is called by who he believes is his friend and fellow up-and-coming serial killer, Greg. Eventually, Greg is discovered to have been killed and stored inside the fridge, with Jason being murdered by one of the trio of Ghostface killers. I absolutely believe this was Detective Bailey. Ethan was at the frat party with Chad, and Quinn was home entertaining. The line spoken by Ghostface, you know, who gives a fuck about movies, absolutely helped in my decision here. Bailey expressed his uninterest in the Stab franchise in the final act. When Sam dressed as Ghostface calls Bailey, he mocks the line, what's your favourite scary movie? indicating he has no real taste for the franchise. He also expressed his lack of interest in the movies in the final act, simply stating, but Richie loved them. The Who Gives a Fuck About Movies absolutely belonged to Bailey. Moving along, the next time we see Ghostface is as Sam and Tara Carpenter make their way to the police station. He calls Sam just as they are attacked. Both Ethan and Quinn were inside the Falls apartment just before, and it seems Bailey instructed Sam to make her way to the station in order to lure her out and attack her in the street. Bailey then follows Sam and Tara into the bodega store. This was definitely all Bailey in my opinion. There's a build up to the following scene. We see Sam mention that her shrink, Christopher Stone, can provide her with an alibi to her whereabouts the night before. Christopher is then killed by Ghostface, who proceeds to steal Sam's personal files. This one is tricky. Quinn and Ethan are seen with the main group and are seen following, indicating they've likely been to classes together or have been gathered there intentionally by Mindy. Detective Bailey is seemingly the only one who locates the information regarding the shrink's death. I could easily say this one was him, but I'm going to give this one to Ethan, as his involvement is somewhat lacking as Ghostface in the movie. After this, the next time is in the apartment, in which the Ghostface trio orchestrate the death of Quinn, in the hopes of removing her from the suspect list. The Ghostface in the scene attacks Mindy, then her girlfriend Annika, prompting the pair and Sam to flee across the apartment buildings with only a ladder for support. Eventually, Ghostface catches up with them and knocks Annika from the ladder, killing her. This one was difficult to guess. I'm going to assume it was Detective Bailey once again. I've seen some people say this could be Ethan, but just hear me out for a second. I believe this entire moment was orchestrated by the trio in order to successfully rule out Ethan and Quinn as suspects. Quinn being killed on screen, and I'm willing to bet that if the members of the Core 4 investigated, Ethan was in fact situated in class amongst many people, eliminating him as a likely suspect. The plan backfired, as Mindy was even more suspicious following this encounter with Ghostface, which may be why they decided to eliminate Mindy shortly after. To me, it seems obvious this Ghostface was Bailey. The next two on-screen appearances from Ghostface were actually confirmed to be Quinn by the character herself in the final act. She attacked Gail Weathers in her apartment, she murdered Gail's lover Brooks, and was also responsible for the subway train attack on Mindy. 
The next outing from Ghostface on screen was actually Chad's attack. This was obviously carried out by both Quinn and Ethan, as Detective Bailey only showed up later and was actively shown to be at the station in a scene prior to the Ghostface attacks. The final person in the movie to become Ghostface is actually Sam Carpenter, as she murders Bailey in the final showdown, whilst declaring that she is nothing like her father. There's a possible foreshadowing in this scene, that Sam will never truly be able to escape the ghost face of her past, but she can use it as a way to fight back. It reminds me of a similar line stated to Sidney Prescott in Scream 2 by Gus, her drama teacher. None of us can avoid our fate, but as an artist, you can honestly face it and fight it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my take on who killed who on this movie. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and look out for more great videos on the way.